Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today I will be creating an image upload page uh, in React Native. Um, when dealing with uh, user uploaded images, it can be very simple to just create a image upload field and then leave it. But in many apps we need to have a little more advanced um, and more advanced implementation where we can allow multiple images and also selecting a cover image. So I will be creating an image upload page that has these capabilities. And uh, as you can see on the right, I'm using an existing app that I've created. Um, and this page you can see right now is the create a new um, item page basically. All right. Um, so if I go to upload image here, if I click upload image, I will be on the image upload page. And that's the one we can see here on the left. Okay. Um, for this project, I will be using React Native Paper to create some of the UI elements just to save a little bit of time. So, but uh, I'll explain it as we go. Okay. So the first thing that I would like to create in my image upload page is the markup, just a very simple markup. So first of all, I'm thinking that we need a cover image on this page to show the currently selected cover image. So I'm going to start off by um, just creating a, actually I'm going to import a custom component that I made. Uh, it is the container component. And this component is basically basically just a view with some padding. So no big deal here. So components, layout, and then container. All right. I'm going to use container component here. And inside the container component, I'm going to have a subheading. So subheading is also a custom component that I made. Um, it seems like it only auto imports from regulated paper, so I need to do manual import here. Subheading from components. Uh, okay, so I'm actually unsure where the subheading is. Let me see, have a look here. Oh, it's inside the typography. Okay, so typography subheading. All right. Cool. So inside this container, I'm thinking we have a title that explains the section. So that will be cover image. And then below the heading, I'm thinking we can put in a service surface. So that's the React Native um, component here from a React Native paper component that, ba that basically shows a white background with some elevation. And in here I want my cover, Im cover image. So let's put an image source and the source of that will be my cover image in here. Okay. We haven't defined any state yet. So I'm just going to leave it blank. And then we're going to have some styling. And uh, I'm just going to create a style sheet right away here. So and let's define styles at the bottom. Style sheet dot create. And then we need to import style sheet from React Native. So style sheet here. All right. So uh, images in React Native is very important to apply some styling. Otherwise, you have no control over how the image will look. So let's just put a width of 100% here, maybe. Um, well, actually, let's just do some very basic here. So cover image. Let's just do width 300, height. Actually, let's do height 200 width 100%. And to make sure we see all the whole image, we can do uh, resize modes and then put contain there. 
All right. Make sure we import image here. All right, so that looks like that. Very simple. Source URI, URI should not be an empty string. Okay, we're gonna deal with that later. Okay, so that's our cover image. Our cover image will be here. That's cool. Now, let's see, what else do we need? So apart from that, we're gonna need the remainder of the images because we want to up to allow more than one image to be uploaded, right? So I'm just gonna create another container here and then add a flat list from React Native. And here we're gonna have some images. And for each image we want to render something. And I'm gonna destructure out item here because this uh, function call takes, has an item property here, which will be an item from our images over here we haven't defined yet. And uh, just to render something simple, we can render once again a surface. Uh, inside the surface have an image. So let's do image again, source URI item dot could be URL, right? And then we also need some styling here, but I'm gonna just wait a little bit for that. All right, so it doesn't know what, what image is this, so let's just define that state up here at the top. Images, set images, and we will be using the use a use state hook here, okay? Another thing I could add would be a floating action button to add an image, or maybe even add it at the top here. Uh, let's, uh, let's just uh, choose the the top method here, since um, that one is a little more complicated, so maybe you can learn something. So in order to do that, we need to call, uh, we need to use a use effect hook here, and then modify the options for our navigation. So I'm using React Navigation, which most apps are using. And for each page, it exposes the navigation prop, okay? So if we do use effect here, oh, sorry, we actually should be using use layout effect. Use layout effect. this and then put in navigation here okay you might notice that my imports are a little funky here I'm not sure why that's happening uh, there's some bug with the IDE normally we will have the imports like this up here okay all right so inside use layout effect what do we need to do here so navigation exposures a function called set options where we can start modifying options for this page in our navigation. And the one we want to modify is the header right, okay? So here we want to add a button and I'm gonna use an icon button here from React Native Paper. And the icon I want to use is, I'm just gonna use the add icon And uh, let me see, yeah, that looks fine. Use state is not defined, so let's make sure we import it up here. All right, that's cool. Um, let's, oh, it seems like it doesn't know what the add icon is. Let's try plus, oh, that's better. All right, now we have the plus icon up here and um, that's good, now we can add an image. So how are we gonna add an image? So I'm gonna use um, a package to deal with this since um, it can save a bunch of time. So 
I've already pre-installed this package. It's called a uh, React Native Image Picker. Okay, so you need to download this one using npm install or yarn install. And then remember to cd into your iOS folder and do pod install, okay? After that's done, we can do import image picker from React Native image picker, okay? So in here, we can do an, an on press here and then specify what we want to do. So in this case, we want to call the image picker module. All right. So actually, let's just reference a function here. It's called handle upload. And for now, let's just define it inside use layout effect. So handle upload. What's gonna happen here is we're gonna call image picker. Oh, image picker dot show image picker. Yes, and then we can pass in some options here. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description to the documentation where you can see all the options. I'm just gonna pass in a few things here. So max with five hundred and max height 500, just to limit the size of this image. Okay, now as a second parameter, we have a callback. And this callback has a response inside of it. And this is where the image is, if it's successful. But we may also cancel, so First thing we want to check is response that did cancel. In case we canceled, we don't want to do anything, so we just return. If you go back to the code here, I press the plus sign. We get the image select here. If I press cancel, nothing happened. That's cool. Now, we need to do something though if we actually select an image. And um, Let's see here. So I'm gonna define a new variable called image. And I want a URI property, a type property, and a name, okay? And I want to grab all these properties from my response here. So if we did not cancel, we assume that we selected an image. So the URI can be grabbed from response.uri. The type can be grabbed from response.type. And the name, the name is a little tricky here. Uh, usually we can get it at response.filename, but not always. This property might be empty. So we need to make a fallback here. So in case this is null or undefined, or just an empty string for some reason, we're gonna assign the name to response.uri and we're gonna take a substring of this URI and we want to basically take the last bit of this URI, which will be the file name. So response.uri, last, last index of the last slash and then plus one. Then we should get the file name, okay? That will be our image. And what we can do is to do set images and then do image. I actually do previous images. Um, let's see here. Yeah, so this is an array. So we can do previous images, concat, and then our new image here. All right. Cool, so now we should actually add an image here and maybe get something in our flat list here. Um, there's one thing though with this flat list that I want to address before adding an image and that is the styling. 
So I'm actually not too happy about this. I want to have some different columns. So I can add a number of columns here and then put two in there. But this is not enough. I also need to add some styling to the surface. So let's do style, styles dot, mm, let's just say, it's kind of like a grid, right? It's item, so let's call it grid item. And then down here, let's add some grid item styling. So, yeah. Now, the important property set here is the width. And uh, I should try to limit this width. So, since we are having a two column grid, I'm gonna do dimensions, import that from React Native. Then do a dot get on that, and then take the window, then take the width, and then subtract by two. Then I should get a decent width. All right, so I'm getting an error here, but if I reload, it should be okay, because this, because I'm changing this prop on the fly. All right, we also need to add some additional styling. We don't have enough styling here. You always need to specify some styling for the images, otherwise it just won't show. So let's do a style here for our image. And I'm just gonna apply the same style to the cover image, okay? Uh, for the grid item here, I don't have a height and um, that might also be good to have. Let's just try to put 200 in and to see what happens. Um, yeah, all right. Uh, yeah, let's try to give it another go. So go up here, choose from library, choose an image. Okay. Now we have an image. And if I add another one, yeah, that one is also added. So right now they are a little overlapping because we actually don't have that much width available. So that can, um, that can be fixed, right? But um, we won't um, fix it right now. We can just, uh, leave it for now. And this height is also redundant, so I'm just going to remove that. All right, so we have our images here. They're being uploaded and saved. That is all looking great. Um, now I want to also have the comment cover image here added. Okay, so how can we do that? Well, there are many approaches, but I'm just going to show you one here. Okay. So if our, we can do a if check here. So if the amount of images that we have, let's just say the length is zero, then we would like to add that image initially as a cover image because we don't have any other images, right? So might as well add that one as cover. Okay, so um, for that, we need some additional state here. So let's say cover image, set cover image, use state, and that's gonna be null to start with. Okay, so it's images, images that length equal to zero, we want to call set cover image. And that's gonna be image, okay. Now we need to make sure we update this array down here. Otherwise <clears throat> we're going to see some inconsistencies. So let's add in images here. And now in the image here, we can do a little check here. So if cover image is set, right? We want to access cover image that you are I. Otherwise, we're just gonna leave this one blank for now. All right, we need to also remember to update the styles here. So I wrote that image by mistake, but it should be that cover image here, okay? 
So now we have the cover image showing up here. It's very cool. Now, if I add a, let's see if I add another one here, it should just get, yeah, it's just gets add to this list. So that looks, uh, that looks fine. Okay. So now I want to do a last part and that's uploading an image to an API that can be a little tricky in React Native, in my opinion. So I'm going to show you guys how it's done. Okay. So after we have this image up here with the URI, the type and the name, we are basically ready to upload it using this structure and it's important that all these fields are filled out. Otherwise, when you try to upload it, it's just gonna fail. Okay. Now I have a function to do this upload. So let's see. No, we don't have any order complete. Come order complete. All right. So let's go to my API file here and then scroll down to this function. Okay. So this is the logic that is responsible for uploading. And you can see here, I have a method post. I'm setting a content type of multi-part form data. And then I'm passing in the payload here as the body. And the payload is just a new form data with the image appended. Okay. And uh, here I'm doing another check image dot is cover image, then I will add an additional value to my payload, but this is not important. Let's just forget about that. So if I go back here, add image listing, actually it's, it's working. Okay. I can do this and then pass in the listing ID, which in my case is um, route params listing ID and then add in the image here, image like this. Route is not defined and route is another prop exposed by um, uh, React Navigation. So we can access that one like that. Yeah, and now here it's complaining about that. But that's okay, because that value doesn't actually change. Okay, so yeah. And if I want to await that for some reason, I can add the async keyword up here. Oh, sorry. I need to do it inside this callback like that. Okay. So um, yeah, this is uh, how it looks for image uh, uploading images to the server. And uh, in case you get some strange errors in regards to uploading the image, I'm also going to show you the server side um, part. Because that might that might help you if you are both developing the app and also the backend. So let me just find that. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff going on here. So let's just hide everything. Now, this is the route for managing the file. And you can see I'm using a middleware here, which is the Malta upload middleware. Uh, Malta is great for dealing with form data on your server. And um, I'm basically just passing in Malta upload and show you what Malta upload is in a moment and then specifying that the field that I'm looking for is the image field. Okay. And then I'm just grabbing that file from request.file. Okay. And uh, just to show what Malta upload is, it's um, this code. So we pass in storage, which is multi.memory storage. And then I'm also passing in 
limit prop here to increase the size of the images that I'm accepting. Okay. Cool. That's, uh, that's all I want to show you guys today. I hope you learned something about uploading images in React Native, how to um, add it to a fetch request and uh, also deal with it on the server side. All right. Hope you learned something and see you in the next one.